Hi, my name is Taylor Chiquette and I'm an art history with museum studies major at Niagara University. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at Normandy Landscape by Homer Dodge Martin. Homer Dodge Martin was born in Albany, New York in 1836. He worked as a carpenter and architect until he began painting in 1852. A largely self-taught artist, Martin's early works were similar to Hudson River School style and had great attention to detail. But later in his career, Martin actually became one of the first artists to introduce Impressionism to American painting. One of the main factors that led to this style change was his two trips to Europe. After his first trip in 1876, Martin's works began to heavily reflect the Barbizon school style with muted colors and blurred details. On his second trip from 1881 to 1886, mainly focused in Normandy and Brittany, Martin did very little painting. He used this trip to observe the work of Impressionists and brought this process to America, where he produced many paintings of the beautiful French coastline from memory. This influence is very prevalent in Normandy landscape with its melancholy palette, expressive painting style, and abstract scenery stripped of detail. I personally like how you can see the scene as if you were there. These two central trees are clear while the rest of the scenery is slightly blurred, giving the effect that your eye gives when you look at something. And though the varnish is slightly yellowed from age, you can still see the vivid oranges, reds, yellows, and greens within the foliage that give you almost the feel of the autumn air on your arms. Overall, the muted yet vivid color and blurry composition of the paintings give a sorrowful and isolated feeling to this art scenery. Throughout his life, Martin suffered many maladies, including melancholy, chronic eczema, vision loss, and cancer. His seemingly continuous illnesses may have contributed to his status as an introvert. And in 1893, Martin and his wife moved out of the city to Minnesota with hopes that fresh air would improve his condition. But alas, in 1897, Martin died from his cancer, leaving his landscapes as evidence of his impact on American art. We hope you enjoyed this new perspectives video. Thanks for watching.